in this video we will study uh, how to find cycle in a directed graph so if you lo look at this example you will immediately notice that there is a cycle here from 0 you can go to 3 from 3 you can go to 4 from 4 you can go back to 0 and you can repeat it so there is a cycle here this is different from cycle in a undirected graph for example if we have some graph like this if this is directed then this is cyclic but if we change one of the arrows now it's not cyclic but in the undirected case that is not the case we don't care about direction it's always cyclic so let's see how to find it in directed case so uh, we will do a DFS so we will do DFS to find the cycle and what we will do uh, instead of visited we had kept a visited array for nodes so that we don't visit a visited node again so that was the purpose of this visited array and this was boolean that is 0 or 1 so here we will modify it slightly we know that when we start DFS from some node let's say this node and there are a few nodes which are reachable from here so before uh, concluding from this or we had also seen this concept when we were studying about pre and post time for each vertices so when we reach a vertex we assign it a arrival time or discovery time or we also call it pre numbers and then we reached here again we assign a pre number and let's say we reach a node from where there is no other place to go or it's going to some node which has already been finished finished uh, doing DFS from there then we uh, return from this that is there is no more option to go from here so we return from this and then we had assigned some uh, finish time also here or called post numbers so these will denote the states so let's say there are some other nodes and uh, we started from here and we took this direction we are not uh, in this part of the graph yet so these nodes will be initially unvisited or we can keep them a state of 0 when we first reach a node we give them a state of 1 and when we are exploring it this state will remain 1 and let's say we come here so its state became from 0 to 1 because we have just reached here but from here there is no other option to go so we backtrack we go back to previous node then we make its state 2 that is it's completely explored and we will never commit here again then we come this side again and again this will become a state of 2 and finally we will come back to this node from where we started DFS and now there are more options to go so this state will still remain 1 and uh, then we will come here make it state 1 then we come here its state will change to 1 then no other option so make it 2 backtrack come here 1 backtrack it becomes 2 now there is no option to go from here so it will become 2 and finally we come here and its state becomes 2 that is completely explored so these are three states denoting unvisited being explored or we can keep call them in stack since we are calling recursively from here and these uh, these nodes have not yet returned so this node is still in the recursion stack and then finally visited so while doing DFS what we have to do we will do DFS in normal fashion and uh, if there is an edge going to a node which is still in recursion stack so what will be the our diagram here so this is a node let's say a we are exploring it so this is in a stack its state will be this second one and we are exploring from here we are somewhere down here and from here let's say there is an edge like this so this edge is going to a node which is currently in stack so we will check its state it will be either 0 1 or 2 so if any edge we found uh, is going to a node whose state is 1 then we return true that is there is a cycle why because from here only we came here we reached here and we are not done with yet that's why its state is 1 or in stack and I found an edge which is going to there so there is a cycle here if it's going to a node which is already explored let's say we have finished with it its state is 2 and there is an edge like that then there is no need to worry because from here there was no edge in this direction 
otherwise from here we would have come to this node node but we did not come to this node that means there was no path from this node to this node there is no path if there would have been any path we would have taken that directly or indirectly but we completed this or moved it to state 2 that means we had done looking at all the possibilities so an edge like this does not imply cycle it's like uh, we come here we come here then there is a parallel branch through which we reach here so this is not cycle from here we reached here but from this node there was no path to this node but there is one directional path so it's not cycle so you get the idea so we have to do slight modification to our uh, normal dfs and that's uh, making this visited array uh, integer type instead of boolean or if you are a, you want to write a good code you can define enums also in c++ or java and instead of using 0 1 2 you can use these named constants unvisited in stack or visited and whenever you encounter a node so you look for all the adjacent nodes of u what we did for all adjacent u if uh, not visited u then we triggered dfs from there so here what we will do instead of not visited we will check if visited u equal to 1 then return true else if it's unvisited uh, then do dfs from here now if we reverse this node this edge then there will not be any cycle like in this case so let's write the code for this we will just need to do slight modification and we will uh, run our code on this example the same graph and then we will modify it to run on this and we will see the difference whether it's able to detect cycle uh, so return the correct result or not in this case it should return true in this case it should return false so let's begin so this was our standard dfs that we did early uh, and then we started dfs from zero so if we start dfs from zero from zero we can reach every node so it will visit zero to one then two then backtrack backtrack then three and four and that is what is printed here so we will rename this function we will call it uh, hatch cycle and then you see here bool so make it int so it will have three values now and this is the same graph and let's capture it in a bool and then we will print it and what change we need to make is that we initialize it with 0 and we don't need to print it and uh, let's uh, make the enum although it does not make a difference either int or enum but let's define an enum so that you, you will get some extra points if you write like this in the interview So 0, 1 and 2 themselves do not convey any meaning but if you name those constants and this enum starts from 0 by default you can start it from if you write it like 10 and then in stack then visited then this will get a value of 10 this will get a value of 11 this will get a value of 12 but if you leave it as default then this will get a value of 0, 1 and 2 so let's define an enum for uh, if you are using python you can also define some constant but you can use 0 1 2 also that should be good enough and here instead of int we will pass this thing so initialize to unvisited and And this type will be bool if visited i equal to unvisited
and and this return true that is hash cycle then return true else if for none of the connected components we got a cycle so there is a cycle if uh, there is a cycle in any of the connected components of graph and this loop is required since from a node from where we started dfs we may not reach all the nodes so that's why we have added this loop and we had seen all of this while studying dfs standard dfs so if none of the connected components return has cycle then finally we return false and here we will modify it it's uh, in stack so when we start a dfs from there just reach that node we move it to in stack and uh, if visited u is equal to in stack that means there is a cycle return true and this same logic if it's in stack return true if it's uh, visited then we don't need to do anything so we will not write a code for that case and if it's unvisited then do a dfs and check if it returns a cycle and here we have explored all the nodes reachable from here so we will mark it as visited so this is same as putting one here and two here and you can replace these with 0 1 and 2 if you don't want to use enums and finally we will return false since we did not encounter any cycle now let's uh, run this so some error is there so line 26 so here we have not closed this and here also we have not closed it unvisited uh, so it should be unvisited and there is some more spelling mistake here and now it's return one that means one means cycle uh, if you want you can use bool alpha or set bool alpha i don't remember uh, then you can print it in boolean so this has cycle now what change we need to make we need to reverse this 40 instead of 40 we make it 04 so let's do that uh, this becomes 04 now it should return false since there is no cycle and it returns false so this seems to be working so this is how we can detect cycle in directed graph